Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about cystitis and pyelonephritis. This is an illustration of the kidneys. So let's just mark them in red. The urethra, or ureters, this is two. And the bladder. Let's choose a bright, a lighter red for the bladder. I'm sure you guys are aware of the anatomy, but I'm going to go through it briefly. These bean shaped structures are, are the kidney itself. So let's just... Uh, Let's just name it, kidneys, ureter, bladder. So what is cystitis? Cystitis refers to the inflammation of the bladder, which is this. Which is normally caused by bacterial infection. As usual, it can be caused by any type of bacteria, mostly E. coli. Let's move to the side. Risk factors. Women are more at risk. Patients who have diabetes are more at risk those that are immunocompromised. And other risk factors involved, but these are the main ones that you would think with cystitis, mostly women, that is the main question. So what are the common symptoms? Let's write it down, common symptoms. This urea. A burning sensation when you urinate. Frequency, so you tend to go more often. And there's a change in the color of the urine alongside oftentimes with uh, um, increase in the smell of urine. So increase odor. Urgency is also very common symptoms. Suprapubic pain also very common in male and females sometimes patients will present with hematuria which is blood in your urine however it's also important to know that sometimes patients may be asymptomatic let's go to the diagnosis diagnosis you want to take a take a good history And obviously rule out any red flags. The first thing you want to do is a dipstick, a urine dipstick. dipstick. Look for any presence of nitrate um, or leukocyte. It's important to note if it's negative for nitrate, but positive for leukocyte, Always send an MSU, which is basically send it for um, urine culture. UTI is less common in males; it's quite is more rare. If a man, if a man presents with UTI, always culture the urine. So let's talk about treatment. Nice guideline advice, three days nitrofurantoin. training. So let's say three days nitro toin, which is uh, the main treatment for UTI or cystitis. The second line is trimetoprim. Try me to brain. This is also for three days. For three days. And that's it for cystitis. Let's move to pyelonephritis now. Pylo nephritis, which is a one a uh, one big condition. 
This is an infection of the kidney itself. Most of the time it progresses from cystitis, so there's an inflammation of the bladder and the bacteria moves up into one or both of the kidneys and then now we have inflammation of one or both of the kidneys. That is pyelonephritis. The symptoms are the same of cystitis. So if we go back to the previous um, lecture, if we go here, the symptoms will be the same, dysuria, dysuria, let's highlight it, dysuria, frequency, change in color, urgency, superpubic pain, hematuria. Okay, however, there's more, slightly more symptoms. So if we go back to our illustration of pyelonephritis, let's say symptoms. same as cystitis let's say plus fever and uh, flank pain which is a very common presentation for pyonephritis so quite a differential the diagnosis will be the same so if we move again to this, the so diagnosis will be taking a good history, urine dipstick, check for nitrates, and leukocytes. Again, if, this, if the patient is negative for nitrate and positive for leukocyte, you should do an MSU, especially if she's pregnant. However, in this case, you have to be watchful if the patient is seriously ill because pa patient with pyelonephritis may be systemically unwell. So if they have symptoms of sepsis, you should hospitalize them. So let's just say. Diagnosis. same as cystitis plus consider need for hospitalization Let's just, I can't spell today. Hospitalization. Hospitalization. There you go. Now, treatment for pyelonephritis is a bit different from um, cystitis. So treatment. In this case, if you decide to not hospitalize them, the first line treatment is a kef kefalaxin. So it's just kefalaxin for seven days or seven to 10 days. Or coamoxiclav. Co amoxiclav. Again, for seven to 10 days. Trimetoprim. For 14 days. Cyprofloxacin. For 7 days. 
Now, you don't need to know all this stuff, but I just wanted to mention it to you guys. Um, it's more likely you have questions revolving around the um, symptoms of paleonephritis rather than treatment itself. Um, just be aware for cystitis, the main, the main treatment is nitroprenantonin or trimetoprim. Um, it's very unlikely to be asking questions specifically for, for paleonephritis. But at least now you have an idea. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.